Hey, Marie Clay viewers, I do understand. First and foremost, this is a frog in the throat. First out of bed thoughts in the morning of how to get out of bed. I'm sitting up this morning. I had to get back under the covers. It's a little cool. And apparently, uh, the East Coast, or the southernmost part of the East Coast, I believe, from Tennessee down to Georgia, maybe down to Florida. I don't know. I hadn't even had a chance to fully investigate. But uh, apparently, uh, some of our neighbors were shaken out of bed. Apparently, there was a South Region earthquake. Said something about it hit uh, Decatur, Tennessee. And they are still investigating whether it was uh, it was above a four. Above a four. And uh, the ground shaking at any time in the South is strange. If, 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 a, if it ain't a Confederate shooting off a cannon or all that suspicious digging they do at the rock quarry. <laughs> it's amazing how different our lives used to be based on the region we were in. And not until the overexpansion and growth of media that we all started experiencing the same kind of lifestyles. Like, you would be able to tell the region a person was uh, from or in based on their conversation. Like some of y'all may listen, you may hear my Southern twang and like, oh, that's a Southern sister. Then some of y'all will check the notification. Oh yeah, that's a real Southern sister. But um, it's just amazing to me. Like, you know, on a Wednesday around about noon, you might hear the tornado siren testing. You might hear that rumble from the, what I think comes from the rock core. You know, we rumble every now and again. Uh, there's big holes all over Atlanta. If you never explored your Google Earth or even your GPS, if you have never explored more than your destination, okay, please, people, do that. That's a great way to get out of bed. Get out of bed and explore more than your destination, meaning that you look on the map, you take your map, you swipe left, right, up, and down. Because sometimes you need to know what's all around you. And I remember when I moved to the area, and, and I didn't even think about this before. I lived, I grew up in an industrial area right near a train yard. So that was just like huge train yard. But we didn't have Google Earth during that time. We had a map or two. We had the Atlas. You know, we had to, we used to pull out these huge maps, books, and globes to explore around us. And then came technology. And, and if you were interested in geography, in, in its original state, you then were really excited about the opportunity to explore. So I remember even um, when I first explored Google, I saw how huge the train yard actually was. You know, we had the, we had limited sight, but a whole lot of sound we heard coming from the area. In fact, my aunt was complaining about it just uh, a couple of weekends ago because they they cut down some trees that are that served obviously as a barrier, a sound barrier, in the new developments that are going on over there. And she was just fussing. Oh, they cut down those trees, and now she can hear the train yard even louder. And it's all night, and they keep her up. And da 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 da. da. Because you know, back in the day, it would you had a sound that came from there in the morning that was kind of like the alarm clock, like the rooster crow for us. Um, but that what came from living in that industrial complex, industrial area. Like I know when I whenever I'm traveling, I like to wake up early, especially if I'm staying downtown in like a metropolitan area, and listen at the sound as the cities come to life. Because I love that aspect of things, things coming to life, be it industrial, be it commerce, be it individuals, and that's why I think I like having this conversation about how to get out of bed because. One, it's such a reverent, it's such a reverent um, experience when we go from that life we live with the Sandman in dreamland to coming back to awakening, to coming back to reality. It's just amazing how much the body has control of, over things that the mind really don't. It's like it's not until you awaken that you really gain control of your mind again unless you are that person that's real cognizant in your dreams. Hey, Mr. Musa, thank you so much for jumping in. And, uh, you know, it's not until you awaken that you come back to that kind of consciousness. Some of us look forward to the same man coming, look forward to that dreamland because that's when we really get to rest our minds. Or some, some of you who need this conversation maybe that time is also difficult for you as well and for all of us 
it fluctuates. It fluctuates. And I think when we learn more and more that it fluctuates, and I love having the conversations I have, uh, like millions of others have been um, watching the Red Table Talks. And I love the fact that conversation on the internet has taken that kind of turn. As a blogger, one of the things that I often love, that I love most about it, it, social media is that, especially with Twitter. I don't know about other platforms, and probably not even so with Twitter. Well, with Twitter, but there's a whole other life on Twitter. But what I love about it is that in order to engage a person, you got to read what they say. You know, and I know in other platforms focus more or less on visual and and video and so forth. But Twitter is that platform where words are still important. Using your words are still important. Even though a person may add a little bit more emotion to your words than you might have had or not enough emotion to the words that you might have intended. It's still a word platform. It's still, if you put some words on there, somebody's going to read it. They're not going to just scroll by it because they know that it's that's the expectation on that platform. But what I always loved about Twitter is Twitter ushered us into an era where we have to, whether we respect the other person's opinion or not, we've got to allow it into the ecosystem. And that's what I always love about it because I like a challenge. I love a debate. I love a challenge. I love a great conversation, which is why they call me a conversation starter. And I like to see that on other platforms. On other platforms. In fact, the platform that I use um, to launch my words is usually Facebook. Not that I expected to do much on Facebook. I always, I do it on Facebook because it's easier and Facebook is the more stable platform of all the platforms. So I know I can depend on it to be there, but it will deliver that content to Twitter and then I'll go over and have the conversation on Twitter. Uh, if it's visual, if it's photos, videos, um, or even audio, which I then add to video, I'll launch that through Instagram. So I use those two, uh, kind of throughout the day, well, all throughout the day. I use those two all throughout the day um, to launch my conversations, to launch conversations that I'm starting. And that's what I do. I'm a conversation starter. And this is one of those conversations, how to get out of bed. As you can tell, I kind of got an energetic day. Um, I was a little drained when I went to bed last night because I had a lot of video to edit this week. And I changed up my schedule a little bit. And oftentimes you have to do that. Don't be afraid to do that. Um, I move my live stream, which usually my using my production day of video and audio and stuff was Tuesday and I moved it, uh, to Sunday just by happenstance when I was hungry, I was going to cook and I hadn't done a stream because I had other things going on. And so I did my live, my day of live streaming on Sunday, got all my videos out. And it's so funny because literally it takes so long uh, filming those videos. And then I, once I got through last night or once I felt like I had accomplished the task, I pretty much had about a whole day of filming, cut it down into three, two minute videos. That's six minutes. Uh, but then I have all these other snapshots and things like that, that I have to rotate throughout the week. But again, I felt accomplished enough to go to bed about three o'clock this morning and a three, maybe two something. And then apparently we had an earthquake about four something. See the universe will let, you know, let me put her in the bed because otherwise she'll be up all night talking and engaging conversation about this. So, um, but I am, I am. I'm having a good day and you can, you can tell, you know, okay, the cycle of being up and then, you know, hitting the peak and then, you know, ro rotating back around to the valley may be coming. Um, but one of the things, Hey, that DJ Mark, wait a minute, let me see. I, I forget. Simply Natasha. Hi, how are you? So we're talking about how to, how to get out of bed. That's a, uh, podcast we do. I don't even wait till the voice gets right. I just literally, now that I'm reaching for that phone, I don't check my social media. I just come up and have a conversation. God say, listen, this is how I woke up. This is how I think I'm going to make it out of bed. That's the conversation that we have. And we tweet afterwards. We have good comments on here. Um, things that I have to kind of look for. I, I don't know if I have a book reference for us today, but it's Wednesday. We're already, it's hump day, right? Please tell me it is Wednesday because I never know what day it is. Um, we're already halfway through the week, and I am 
going into this this season, trying to rearrange my days a little bit because one, it's the holiday season. People are probably working a little bit more. You may be a little bit more tired. Uh, hopefully, you're not part of that uh, air, that that population that's not working as much during the holiday. But hopefully, you are um, and getting ready. Hopefully, you are excited. I know that this is kind of a um, a heavy weighted time period for some. If you've experienced things in your family or if you experience things in work and so forth, this is really that time for us to have these conversations. So I think, you know, one of the things in all of the, the scopes that I do, I do them in a series. I always try to have a beginning, a reason why, a middle to keep going because it's working and then to have an end. You know, we, we have to have a beginning, a middle and an end because there are people who, who, uh, who have experienced the growth. There are people who are going to graduate while in, you know, in live streaming and in podcasts and you can come on, you can talk about the same thing every day. You have to have a stopping point. And I think because I think with what we experience, the difficulty in getting out of bed is because we don't have a stopping point on a lot of things that we do in life. We don't have that end date. You know, put that end date, plaster your exit strategy. I'm, I, want, I want this so that you can stop and look back because if you're constantly doing the same thing each and every day, you don't um, recognize the seasons, you don't recognize the cycles of it, you don't recognize when change happens. I think that's what keeps us with the heavy weight and carrying the bags of depression, anxiety, and the darkness, and the grief, and all those kinds of things. Not that you should put a time limit on anything, but just times of which you're going to evaluate how you're doing. Just times of which you're going to stop and look at like, whoa, I am doing this. The, the, the song that's out there, everybody sing, I'm living my best life. You know, how do you know if you don't stop and look, engage for yourself, you know, not everybody else's opinion, not it, just, just yours. Are you doing what you thought you'd do? Are you feeling the way, you know, it's like, is this, is this the way I feel? You know, when you wake up, you know, there are a couple of times throughout your day where you are there with yourself, uh, waking up, the potty. Your commute, probably, if you drive, most people drive solo, one to a vehicle, right? Um, your break at work, uh, your break during the day, evenings when you come home, and, you know, that whole cycle thing. There are a couple of times when it's just you. Stop. Do an evaluation. Is this where I, is this where I wanted to be? Is this where I intended to be? Is this what I'm working for? Is this my why? You got to know your why. You know, and it's so important to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. When I pushed that button the first day and made this pink scope, I said, okay, I'll do this for a little while. Because I want to always, you know, have time to stop when I'm getting, there's going to come a season when I need to jump about this bed and go on and do what I got to do. Right now, my life affords the opportunity to have that conversation. And I'm, I'm a prioritizing person, so... I'm able to do this because there's nothing else being sacrificed. Uh, there's nothing else calling my attention right now. There's nothing that I'm overlooking. There is nothing that I'm denying. This, the universe, my life has afforded me the opportunity to speak with, to get a conversation started about how we get out of bed. Because I can't tell you how to create buzz, which is what I do. How to create buzz, how to market your business, how to... To, uh, attract your following, how to turn that following into customers. That's what I do on the norm. But when I get to that point of trying to do that, I find that I have to go back and tell people how to get out of bed. And I was like, well, let's just have that conversation. And there are people who are waiting on me to get back to the, telling them how to create buzz. And I'm like, I can't, I can't go on a speaking circuit. I can't attend the event. I can't go to the red carpets. I can't attend the galas because... I'm still trying to figure out how to get out of bed. So that thing that I used to do, that had a beginning, a middle, and an end. And I had to let that end come. Whether it is semi-permanent, permanent, or temporary, I have to decide that. But right now, it's overwhelming to commit myself to others when the, it, 
issue simply is, can I get out of bed? Can I say to you that I'm going to be there on the 16th, the 18th, the 20th, the 31st, if I can't get out of bed? If I can't work through this conversation and put these priorities and behaviors and habits back in place so that I can roll out of bed. I need to know how to get out of bed each and every day because the holidays are coming. Family is dependent upon me, the new matriarch, to set these traditions in place. I can't put those, keep, I'll keep, or keep those, keep some traditions going. I can't do that if I can't get out of bed, right? So that's why we're having this conversation. That's why the beginning was just push that button, turn that, turn it pink, and let's just start the conversation. The middle of it is let's talk about how we cycle through these things. And then the exit strategy is going to be, hey, we're good. We have got some some clear cut precise behaviors that allow us to work through it all and get out of bed hi mr ed and when that comes when we can get on here we can say what they are literally then we will not broadcast again you'll have you'll have once we start to repeat ourselves or to reiterate some things we'll go okay i think the cycle is complete We'll always have these or as long... Well, we know we will always have them because I've started loading them elsewhere. You'll have them on Periscope for as long as Periscope keeps them. But I am also loading them on Facebook and I'm debating on putting them on uh, YouTube. But we'll have them. How to get out of bed. All right. And I think uh, uh, my journey. Where are, we, where are we going? What did I say? I'm, what am, why are we getting out of bed today? Uh, we're getting out of bed today because we need to go and measure. I've got to go and measure all that content I loaded yesterday from Sunday. I've got to finish working on my schedule. And i got to see. i got some things coming up this weekend that I am going to try to remain upbeat enough to attend. Um and I'm like, um, is, is that still a content? I've got to find out some information. I want to find out who the entertainment is going to be. I've got a holiday gala to go to that I've covered. I've covered it a number of years. And I'm like, eh, do I want to cover it again this year? Not really. But unless the entertainment is something that is someone that I have not, that I don't have any footage on already. Because, you know, after so many years of doing this, I'm like, I kind of met everybody. <laughs> I've kind of covered everything. Um, but I'm thinking about maybe stopping at the later point of the evening uh, when everybody's all relaxed and having fun um, and getting some footage. I think I'll do, I think that's, see how I did that? I, I, I measured it. I brought it to a level that I know I could exceed the expectation. That way the expectation of the weekend rolling in and having to go to this event, the expectation is not so fully high. Like I'm not, I'm not pulling out the ball gowns. Okay. I'm not going, I'm not doing the gown. I'm going to do the press. I'm going to do the blogger outfit, which is basically all black. Go and I'm going to ease in to the press pool and I'm going to just get some coverage, right? That's an expectation I can meet. See how I did that? I did it where I won't overwhelm myself, right? And, and if I decide not to, okay, if I decide not, because there was one year I was like, we're going to go, I'm going to take a crew and da, 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 da. And then I was like, y'all, I can't do it. I got too much going on. And I had to disappoint some people. And that's what that's what we try to, I think that's what we try to avoid in life. And we talked about, you know, not putting so much of that on what you do, you know. But it's all right to serve some others. But, you know, it's that disappointing people thing that really gets us down. So don't put on that so much. But look how I did it. I said, okay, I am. I am going to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to do it, but at a level of which I can manage. And I won't disappoint myself if I don't. Leaving that option open, right? And then, of course, if I go check and the entertainment is something that I've already seen or has doubled back, I probably won't even go. I won't, it won't be necessary, right? It's not a make or break. It's not a make or break thing. But the fact that I am planning or thinking about it, then perhaps that lets me know. It's like, whoa, you're interested in getting back to work. You're interested in doing the thing that you love to do, that you do so well. 
that's a me- that's a measurement that's a- that's a reason to get out of bed. That is a reason to get out of bed. My reason to get out of bed, I'm going to put my foot on the floor and get started is because I had a productive weekend. I got some amazing videos out there. I'm now out there telling the story on that. I get to start planning this weekend because we're already halfway through the week. The content is loaded. All I have to do now is to wait, see, and measure, um, and then get ready for this weekend, planning a whole nother adventure. And and reason why it worked this weekend, because I made the necessary adjustments that uh, was overwhelming me. I made the necessary adjustments that was turning the fun back into work. I made the necessary adjustment of those things that was pulling the joy out of it. So this weekend when I did it, I found that I was able, almost able to uh, uh, blend the two things that I needed to have. Like I have to live stream it, but at the same time, I want to make sure at the end I get the best production value. So I'm still finding my way into doing it. And this, for those of you that follow me on other platforms, I'm talking about the live stream cooking that we do. And I have become frustrated because um, at the end of the day, while I've had an amazing and engaging live stream, I was ending up not having um, the video and the quality of the video and the quality of the production I needed at the end of the day in order to repurpose what I had just done because there were uh, there were other entities interested that were affording another growth level on that right so I had to kind of go back to the drawing board and never be afraid to go back to the drawing board just don't go all the way back to square one um, I went back to the drawing board and I was like and I did one I said well let me do one without live streaming and man that was like quick I got it done I was like whoa Okay, but I needed that element of live engagement. I said, okay, now let me figure out this is what this is what my production can look like if I just get it done. But now I need to bring in that element of live. So I, I figured out um, what the production needs to look like and certainly what it needs to sound like. I need to be absolutely quiet at points of good, good video. And you know what? The audience was accommodating. Because one of the things that I've always said in 27 Essence to Create Buzz, and sometimes you have to go back and read your own book, is that you create the behaviors of your audience. You dictate the following and how they follow. And I let them know, hey, guys, here's the expectation. Um, At times, we have to be quiet on the set. And you know what was so wonderful about it? When I put that expectation out there, because... Here's when that anxiety stuff comes. We don't tell we don't tell people what we expect from them. And we expect them to do the right thing, but we didn't tell them what we expect. That's the thing that gets us, keeps us in bed, right? But by telling the audience and the following and engagement, here's what the expectation is. At times, I won't be able to narrate to you what I'm doing. At times, we have to be quiet on the set. You guys are looking in as I am filming. And you know what? I remember looking at the screen. There were people that were coming in because I was on Periscope. The first one I even did on Periscope. Loved it, right? At the time when I, I looked up at the screen, some uh, a few people had said, she's filming, it's quiet on the set. Were explaining because I had given, here are the rules of engagement. And guess what? At the end of the day, we all met them. We all finished at the at, with the same expectation that's what we need y'all that's how you get out of bed you get out of bed with everybody at the same level of expectation because what happens is we get out of bed somebody expected us earlier somebody expected us later this person thought this was gonna happen you know and then next thing you know you're all mad like last night I expected my daughter would drop off the movies. She come flowing in all, all lollygagging. And I'm like, uh, and they going to tell me, you need to drop your movies out. What do you mean my movies? <laughs> and so we went at it. I'm like, no, because we didn't say what the expectations were. We, we said, well, let's try this. Let's experience this. But we didn't set the tone. We didn't set the expectations. Oh, you mean I need to go back out in the cold and drop these movies off. And this is probably why we've never used this red box service. Because I know I don't want to get dressed in the middle of the night trying to go drop some movies off. Now I see why everybody at that red box, uh, the person who's picking up the movies all excited and 
choosing a movie, the person that's dropping the movies off, they usually all mad and grumpy, like trying to get to the box, and you standing there trying to select a movie, and they behind you ready to drop their movies off, honey. Now we know what the expectation is. But set some expectations. How to get out of bed today, our answer is set some reasonable expectations. On that note, guys, I'm going to go ahead and hit this button. I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much. If you know, if you have a friend that's trying to figure out how to get out of bed, share the broadcast. Send it. Put it in their DM. Put it in their DM, not on their page. Put it in their DM and uh, let them check it out. All right? All right. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Uh, make sure you set your habits for going to bed tonight so we can talk about how to get out of bed tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. Good afternoon. Wherever you are. All right, get out of bed.